Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube video. Today it's going to be my 1K subscriber video. I said I was going to be doing this, so at first I was thinking I would probably get a few materials together and let you guys vote for which one you want for me to make a knife out of. But I thought of, nah, since I've already done that, I wanted to do something a little different that you guys might enjoy. And what I have done is I have picked out four Bowie knives out of my personal collection that I have made. And... Those who may remember who've been on my channel the longest, a couple years ago, I did a video of a copy of a 120 that I was purely disgusted by, so I did a torture test, and it broke just on the first batoning. And so, and I know it is a lot of my guys enjoyed that video, so I thought of, since I don't normally do videos of testing my knives that I've made, so here's the thing. I've got four Bowie knives here. Each one I made myself, and I'm going to let you guys vote for which one you want me to torture test. And so I guess first one is my gunner bowie knife I made out of a circular, I mean out of a sawmill blade. Number two is going to be my very first bowie knife I made. This was the one that started it all. This was the first bowie knife I made before I had all the tools I have now. It's even got my name put into the handle. That's number two. Number three is my Arkansas-designed Bowie knife. A classic coffin handle. And last but not least, number four is the largest Bowie knife I have made to date. I love that thing. So there's four there. Vote down below which one you want for me to do a torture test. The test is going to be very simple. Stuff that Bowie knives have been known to be used for, and that is chopping, batoning, and a few tip tests. Now, the only ones I will not do a tip test on because it's not worth doing are these two right here. Because these are made out of circular saw blades, so they're very, very thin. So there's not point in doing a tip test. So these two will do chopping and batoning. But I will not do a tip test on these two because these are not worth doing that to. These two, on the other hand, I will do tip test on because they've got a decently thick blade. So they're worth trying that out on. And i got a few targets I'll probably get together and, again, do some batoning, some chopping, some slashing, and that's really about it. So, And if they do end up breaking, I can always rebuild them. So that's why I chose knives that I have personally made. And I actually never tested out this one that I made, the very first one I made. And this one I actually made with only an angle grinder. It was before I had all the tools I originally had. So, vote down below which one you want me to test out. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, stay sharp.